Have you ever been in a situation where you buy something that you think will be awesome, but when you go to actually use it, it's kind of difficult? Well, that's not my situation today, but it is my brother's. Um, he bought himself an overlanding trailer. Hopefully I can get a, get, pit, get a picture and put it like, I don't know, here? <laughs> Maybe. Um, and when you go to level the overlanding trailer, it has three jacks on it. So you can adjust it left and right and front and back to get it level. And the jacks in question are these. And the problem that we have isn't necessarily with just this jack in general, but how they're mounted to the trailer. So they have this mount on them and they have a big bracket that's welded on them right, right there. So you can twist them sideways and then twist it when you're, it, you can twist them sideways when you're traveling, or you can pick them back up like this when you need to lift them up so they don't interfere as you're traveling. So the issue is when you go to use the jack and to lift it up or lower it down, when the jack is like this, you have no space for your fingers as you twist it because the fender of the jack is, the fender of the trailer is right here. So the solution that we came up with is to take these extensions from Harbor Freight and put them in the lathe to make them the right size to replace this handle. So let me show you how you do that or how we did it first. Well, you know, since I already did it, I'm not going to run you through the, the details, but first what we did but we took the extension, let me get this on camera, took the extension and put it in the lathe and cut it down to size. So this is what's left. And this is the piece that came off of it. So we turned it down to size to the same diameter of this handle. And then I have a picture of this. We went over to my friend's house that has a mill and we drilled this hole in it in the right spot. So now we can take this, use to unscrew these. Let's skip to the part where I have that open already. Oops. There we go, let me turn you around. All right, as you can see here, we have the gear that this handle turns. There's this pin that holds this in place. And let's get the handle in there. Please forgive the mess. I'm in the middle of like four projects right now. My 3D printer is broken because the connector on the bed is burnt. I, this little white connector right there. Um, so I'm in the process of fixing that and my garage gets ridiculously hot in the summertime. So I have everything pulled out and away so I can insulate and drywall this wall and also the ceiling. So then hopefully I can condition this space to actually have a decent workshop to work in in the summer. Anyway, I'm doing all this myself because a new printer costs hundreds of dollars and the amount of money that they wanted to insulate and drywall was thousands of dollars. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, get subscribed. I'm thinking about putting up a video on simple how to drywall and do electrical stuff looking for tools. Sorry, this is boring. Cut most of this out. We'll put this in. Then the pin goes in. Anyway, you can imagine what I'm getting at. Now, we can run this up and down with an impact or a drill or a ratchet and then not hit our fingers. But what I'm gonna do from this point is I'm gonna put some bluing on these to help them be protected from the weather. I'm using Perma Blue, and this is some, I don't know, Harbor Freight Chinesium steel extensions that I took the previous impact finish off of. So I'm gonna blue them, or attempt to blue them. Let's see if this works. What the bluing does is it oxidizes the surface in a very particular compound to 
prevent it from being hurt by the elements. And if you can't see this getting dark in real time, I'm gonna show you before and after. There you go, after it's glued, before it's glued. All right, now I got all got it all degreased and re-greased with this uh, Bell Ray stuff that I used all the time when I was a motorcycle technician. I mean, why change what works, I guess. But now, as you can see, with the drill, or a ratchet, or whatever, he wants to carry with him. Oh, try not. He'll be able to run his trailer up and down without having to smash his fingers. All right, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Uh, if you feel like supporting the channel, the best thing you can do right now is hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you next time.